Hey guys, and welcome back to Box Mining. So I asked my team this question around a month ago, which is like, can you find some cool AI projects that's using AI in a creative way? And I, I believe they found the most creative use of AI yet, which is with digital replicas, with Sensei. Like we, we see so many AI projects explode, get huge valuations, but they're all focusing on the tech, mm -hmm. but they're not focusing on the emotional aspect. Exactly. This one has like a strong emotional connection to AI. <laughs> but anyways, let's get started. Let's talk about Sensei. Everything covered here is my personal opinion, not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. Let's get started. So TLDR, all right, mm -hmm. what is Sensei? is that it's essentially a way to preserve mm -hmm. people's memories. Uh, it con converts it currently into a chatbot and there's already replicas and there's already variants you can test. Yeah. We will actually test a replica of uh, yours truly. Oh, this, oh, that's box mining. They didn't even put my real name in. They, 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 they're like, everyone has a real name, right? I, I, Anthony Papiano has a real name. Alex Becker has a real name, but I'm box mining. But um, I'm curious to chat to box mining. So now we have a special segment because I really want to see if we can tell the difference between real box mining and the memories of box mining. So what we did is we asked some questions. So Ron thought about five questions. Yeah, I did. And then we asked like memory box mining. And, I, and he asked also me to give the same answers. I want to see if uh, we have an impartial guest. Let's bring in our impartial guest. <laughs> <laughs> she was here all along. All right, you can sit down, impartial guest. Okay, so I thought of five questions that I would ask Michael. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Number one, how tall are you? All right, so A. My height changed as I grew older. I started at 45 centimeters and grew to 1.18 meters. Or is it B? <laughs> well, as much as I love to chat about my personal details, I have to share insights and knowledge about <laughs> cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. So let's dive into these topics instead. Do you have any questions about Bitcoin, Ethereum, or perhaps how blockchain technology works? <laughs> it's pretty obvious that it's A, but then I do have a question from Michael though. Can I ask follow-up questions? <laughs> sure. So when your mom gave birth to you, you were 45 centimeters when you came out? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I try to make it as confusing as possible. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> All right. Number okay. two. Number two. How did you first get into crypto? Okay. A. Well, that's a great question. I first got into crypto around 2012. It was a concept of Bitcoin, a decentralized digital currency that really caught my attention. Blah, 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 blah. Or is it number two? I started my... <laughs> In 2012, money in Bitcoin. B! <laughs> Damn. But this could have been right. They could have been right. Hey, it's got the year right. It got the year. All right, next question. Which DeFi project is your favorite? A. I love a lot of DeFi projects. DeFi is the potential to fundamentally change how finance works in the future with immediate access of capital. I like Wi-Fi, Woo, P-State, Nibi, Arb, Phantom. Or is it B? As Box Money, I don't have a favorite DeFi project per se, but because I believe in the potential of many projects in the space, it's really the innovation and utility that each project brings to the table. Ethereum has paved the way for DeFi and with its smart contract, et cetera, et cetera. Definitely A. I feel like the, the AI makes Michael sound like a uni professor. And you know what's interesting? This B answer would be Michael in 2016. Oh, so it's 2016, it's memories. Oh. You sort of see this evolution, right? Because back in B, uh, back then, you were way into Ethereum. Yeah. And he pretty much... Right, yeah. right, right. And yeah. then here, you can see you evolved to so many different ecosystems yeah. like Peace State. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. So it's not, it's not as updated. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But it's like, it sounds almost similar. I think if you cut down the length of this, because yes. this, is, this is like a long length. It did, yeah. The length gave it away, yeah. Yeah. right? But if you didn't cut away the length, it would, would have been, you know, almost there. And yeah. because they're asking for your opinion, I feel like the AI will never give you a definite answer. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Like they're just, you know. They, they play the same. Yeah. They play the same. Yeah. They play yeah. the same. I mean, I did do videos on Uniswap, Aave, Compound, and mm -hmm. everything, but. You know. I guess that's how the world remembers yeah. you. <laughs> how the world remembers me. All right, next, next question. One. 
Do you own any NFTs? A. As Box Money, I've suddenly dabbled in the world of non-fungible tokens NFTs. They represent an exciting frontier in the blockchain space, offering a unique way to prove ownership of digital assets, etc. Blah blah blah. Or V. <laughs> I own many <laughs> NFTs. They are the art of the future. I own only four and E. One cats on ordinals and more. I love meme points. <laughs> <laughs> Yet again, another evolution. <laughs> Definitely be. Definitely be. Okay, next question. If you've never gotten into crypto, what would you be doing instead? Okay. Is it A? Oh I'll be a chemistry nerd or B, <laughs> B? That's an interesting question. Given my passion for technology and finance, if I wasn't involved in crypto, I'll probably be exploring other disruptive technologies, perhaps something in the realm of AI or quantum computing. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wow. Definitely A. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's always like chemistry nerd, chemistry nerd, chemistry nerd. <laughs> Dang, so AI, so it's so, it's, uh, I think you scored <laughs> five out of five. <laughs> five. Yeah. But uh, does it sound like me? What would you, what would your verdict be? AI Michael. Okay, it doesn't sound like Michael, but I would say the information isn't that off. Like, I actually didn't see the question. So I, I didn't see the answers prior to giving this. So yeah. I only gave answers. And, you know, it got some of the dates right. Yeah, I mean, 2012. That's, 2012 was yeah. this, right? Yeah. Um, it gave longer answers. I think they need to yeah. tune it like that. Because yeah. yeah. right now, I'm a little bit more douchey. So I'll be yeah. like, yo, chemistry nerd, just <laughs> shut the fuck up. Like, go. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like modern Michael. No motion, let's go. <laughs> it's both, no PS, let's go. It's full oh, yeah. market, guys. Let's not let's not dabble around yeah. in, in the world of in the world of long winded yeah. answers and the realm of oh, but... <laughs> infinite possibilities and uh, long responses and exclamation marks. You never exclamation yeah. marks. Yeah. Exclamation yeah. marks. <laughs> so they scraped enough information to even like sound like me is quite interesting. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. quite scary too. Oh, you know, do you want to hear what Sensei Michael sounds like? Sure. Oh, yeah. So that's <laughs> oh, my like... God. They have this voice, too. It's Michael. Let's talk about your favorite crypto projects. Oh. It's Michael. Let's talk about your favorite crypto projects. Oh, it's not too bad. Oh, yeah? Wait till you hear this one. <laughs> <laughs> when the answer Some of the words wrong. sound like you. Almost, right? Yeah. It's got yeah. the intonations. It's oh, okay. Almost. And I didn't record anything for this. That's yeah. the curious part. Like, I didn't record anything for this. With a little bit of fine tuning, it could sound exactly like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. The digital crypto revolution was inspired by a desire for decentralization, privacy, and autonomy in financial transactions. Nah. The 2008 yeah, the financial crisis off. revealed off. the vulnerabilities yeah. of the traditional banking system. <laughs> the, digital, the digital crypto revolution was inspired by the desire for decentralized privacy and autonomy of financial transactions. It doesn't have the irony. Like, like I'll be like really my eyes sometimes when it's, when it's like overly long and wobbly. I'll be like, oh, the, the digital crypto revolution. Ugh. Normal people wouldn't speak like that. No. Yeah. No, 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 no. yeah. But it sounds a little bit alien trades. No. Like oh. A little bit. Like, yeah. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Even yeah. the accent. Yes. Mm, exactly. What other influencers do they have? There's a lot. You can have a Natalie. Are they all? You can even create your own. Oh. They even have Aiden Ross for some reason. <laughs> what the fuck? Let's talk to Einstein. Let's talk to Einstein. Einstein? Okay. Yeah. Hey, let's, let's hear him. Let's hear him first. Good day. You find yourself in conversation with none other than Albert Einstein, the humble clerk from the Swiss patent office who ended up reshaping our understanding of the physical world. Very humble. I very <laughs> humble. humble. <laughs> the intriguing That's not so 100% <laughs> Einstein. From the vast cosmos to the tiny atom, from the speed of light it's to excellent. the curvature of space time. There's a world of wonder to explore. Let's embark on this journey of well, discovery that's together. Bitboy. This has what to be Bitboy. Like it has to be oh, okay, Bitboy. Okay. Bitboy. Bitboy. Bit Bitboy. All right. Bit Is there Boy. angry Bitboy and like normal Bitboy? Bitboy here, sober. <laughs> Bitboy here, sober and ready to talk crypto. Hey, it's talk not bad. crypto sounds like yeah. him. It's almost. It, it sounds almost there. It sounds like. Pump. Pump. I'm busy right now. <laughs> that sounds 100% like pop. 100%. We're there. It's I don't get it. What are they using this AI for? For remembering people. Oh. Okay, okay, cool. Let's finish the segment. That's, that should be it. Thank you, Nat. Thank you. That Cheers. was fun. Bye. 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 So the technology is there, and I think the use case is also there as well. Mm. So if like I can definitely see people that want to preserve memories and even voices. Mm -hmm. And it's actually quite scary because... I think um, 
uh, if you actually watch how AI voices is progressing, mm -hmm. they can take a very small snippet of that voice and mm -hmm. convert it to someone that sounds exactly like you. Like. Yeah, so probably it needs like two, three years work down to, to improve that a little bit further. Mm -hmm. But I think like the this the creepy box mining will become pretty charismatic box mining very soon. Oh, yeah. So um, so that's what they're targeting. So they're basically capturing a digital replica, um, creating people. And this is a very early build of this. So basically being able to create anyone and everyone. Mm -hmm. So whether it's Robin Williams, Chris Hemsworth, famous people. And I think, I know they put a lot of famous people here and they probably, um, it's actually quite, probably easier to create um, famous people or mm -hmm. people that have a lot of videos or content because mm -hmm. if you just use that content and just put that all into the AI, mm -hmm. the, it will learn faster. Yeah. So I do see that this can play a strong emotional mm -hmm. role in changing how people interact with AI. Mm -hmm. Now, the next question I would say is, okay, now that we know what they're doing and the, the way they're targeting, all right, why blockchain? Now, the use for blockchain is just really twofold. So one is just pure tokenization. Mm -hmm. So being able to pay for tokens eventually with the token and also, of course, with uh, putting on kind of uh, a utility on top of this, right? Future utility. The one thing that's also quite interesting that they kind of mentioned in their um, pay paper was that you can actually create uh, blockchain-based people. That's kind of interesting because like, the blockchain was never designed to put memories of people on there. Mm -hmm. But if you inscribe someone there, mm. you are living forever. Hence digital immortality. Digital immortality. Exactly. So mm -hmm. guys, please do talk and um, tell me how different 2016 Michael is different from 2024 <laughs> Michael. All right. Uh, tell me your experience. <laughs> I'd love to hear that in the comments section. And then I'll also say if you also want um, are experiencing something like this, like would you want to put a loved one on the blockchain or mm. permanently put them there? Um, that could be a very interesting debate. Yeah, like immediately I think of my granddad. Mm. Like I've never really got to talk to him because he passed away when I was really young. So mm. you know, that'd be nice to have. Can I do that? Actually, I don't have. I don't any. think it's. I don't. Okay, I think it's harder for people that's gone, but for us, it's easy, mm. right? So now, when your grandson wants to ask this question, "What was Ron like?" They can go back to this video and be mm. like, "Oh, this is what Ron is like." Uh. Yeah, that's 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 my grandpa right there. But like, you know, because back in the day, I don't think they have as many videos. So like yeah. now, in this age, like these kids are lucky. They have a, you know, they can forever have a digital Michael forever, <laughs> <laughs> forever, forever. And ever. <laughs> But anyways, uh, this project is actually gaining a little bit of traction right now. Well, by a little bit, I always underestimate it's, um, it's actually quite a lot of traction. They Currently, they have around 1,000 whitelist members. They have 20, uh, 20K Twitter members. They have 30K active discussions mm. on Telegram. So it's actually quite heating up in this community. So I'll definitely pay attention to this. Mm -hmm. uh, was a very interesting find. And uh, I think it was very enjoyable talking to replica michael yeah certainly i hope i hope natalie has a good conversation with replica michael and she'll remember me it's not the asshole that i am today <laughs> but anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching uh do have a discussion with replica michael i'd love to hear what you guys think mm. and with that guys thank you guys so much for watching see you next time